Hi there. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out the best way to control your hot water recirculating pump. This is something I've been looking into for quite some time now. I did a major plumbing project which involved relocating my hot water heater, uh, which prior to the project was centrally located, uh, but it was in a crawl space and I wanted it in the basement. I have a half basement, so I moved it to the half basement but it's all the way to the west end of the house, uh, which is the furthest point away you could be from the master bathroom, which is on the east end of the house, uh, which led to approximately two to three minutes of running the hot water before hot water showed up at the faucet or the shower. So that wasn't a good thing for us. So we put in a recirculating pump and did a little bit of research on that as well and ended up getting the ReadyTemp TL4000D with a dedicated return loop and, and plumbed all that in and, and got it going and we quickly realized that even that wasn't working too well for us because uh, unfortunately we do not have a very consistent schedule. Uh, we're I work from home, uh, the wife only works a couple of days a week. So our schedule is not consistent at all, and we found that we were having to run the ReadyTemp system uh, quite a bit more than we actually needed it. And we also realized we really couldn't create a schedule because our schedule was all over the place and would have required us basically running it all day long. So I went on a search for what, what could we put in that was better. I ended up going with a Wemo switch it's a smart switch. It does require a Wi-Fi connection to really take advantage of the countdown feature. Uh, but the problem with that one is, is it is still too much of a manual process for my taste. And on top of that, it does require Wi-Fi connection. So if your internet goes out, then so does your switch. And then that negates even the little bit of convenience that I had with the Wemo switch. And the other issue I was having was trying to find uh, in-wall countdown timer switches that communicated with each other. I'm not an electrician, so I immediately began with the kind of the premise that I needed three-way switches for that switch-to-switch -switch communication, just like you would with a three-way light switch. One switch turns it on, and then if you throw the other switch, the light goes off, so on and so forth. And I was not having any luck there. It seems there used to be some switches, uh, smart switches that were made that did this type of thing, but they have been discontinued and are very hard to come by. I even emailed Insteon, seeing what I could get from them that might work for my purposes, but uh, they provided me with a shopping list that was going to be around 500 bucks for the equipment necessary. And again, it would have required a hub and relay switch and remote switches that all communicate together and require Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. And I really wanted something um, that did not require Wi-Fi, a little more stable environment for me that even if the internet went out, everything still worked and we didn't have to worry about it. But I was still having trouble finding the three-way communicating switches. Found a couple out there that weren't necessarily smart switches, but they were three-way communication countdown timer switches, but they required batteries. The reviews weren't very good, and they even had stipulations that because the signal strength was battery powered, it had to be within so many feet of the, of the equipment being operated, otherwise the signal may dissipate to the point that it doesn't even work. So I certainly didn't want to go that route either. And then one day I had an epiphany and I thought, well, why do the switches have to communicate with each other? They're countdown timers. Who cares if they don't talk to each other? So I found these switches on Amazon. They're Maxima 1800 watt switches and they come with one, five, 10, 20, 30, and 60 minute countdown timer options. Or you can just press and hold the big button at the bottom and that puts it in constant on to where it will stay on until you hit the button again to turn it off. So these are single pole switches, so they do not control each other. If you activate one, the others do not even know that you've done that. They just remain off. And if you activate two of them, they're both on. 
And so again, they don't control each other, but for my purposes and with the fact that they're just countdown timer switches, really not a big deal to me. So if I turn one on, it's because I want that pump to run for a minute. I don't want to turn it on just to have someone in another room try to turn it on and then it shuts everything off, which is what would happen with a three-way switch. So in this case, if I turn it on and then 10 seconds later, my wife in another bathroom or in the kitchen turns it on as well, then it just runs for one minute and 10 seconds instead of one minute, so on and so forth. I would rather have that than the hassle of it turning off when we really wanted it on. So here's how it works. I can either hit the button on the bottom and it will activate uh, whatever time is highlighted on the switch or you can just press a time that you want. So in this case, we'll pretend that this lamp is the recirculating pump. So if I hit the button, the lamp comes on. And that will stay on for one minute. And then if I hit another one, that also is sending power to the lamp but as you can see it did not turn the first one off which again I don't care about and then I can even press the third one so now they're all three telling the pump that we want power for one minute so again instead of just leaving it at the first one where it would have shut off in a minute I hit the second one and the third one so we're gonna actually run a little bit over a minute but that is totally fine because after each switch goes through its one minute countdown they're going to shut the power off and which then turns the pump off and that gives me the max usability that I wanted which is I just want to hit a button and then walk away and not have to worry about when the pump is going to shut off or in the case of the Wemo switch when I hit the button to turn it on the Wemo switch would cut it off after one minute but then I have to reactivate the Wemo switch before the button would work again for the next time I wanted it used. So this to me is the perfect setup. Uh, so I hope, uh, hope this gives you some ideas with your system. Um, but I can show you how it's wired up. So this is just an old appliance cord I have it plugged into an outlet just for testing purposes. So on here, the hot lead is connected to the black wires for the switches. The white or the neutrals are all connected together. The green and the bare coppers, which are your grounds, are all connected together. And then the red switches coming out of the countdown timer switches are then wired into as the hot lead on the outlet that the pump gets plugged into. And that is, it is just that simple. And for my purposes, I have two bathrooms and a kitchen. But say you're extremely rich and you have two kitchens and five bathrooms. Well, you can wire in as many of these switches as you want for any and all rooms that you have. And it, and it just all connects and wires the same way. So it's actually a lot easier to wire up than a three-way or a four-way switch system. And again, it gets you the functionality you're looking for without relying on a Wi-Fi connection or the much higher cost of smart systems that involve the relays and, and the hubs and all that stuff. So again, hope this helps and gives you some ideas for your system. Thanks and take care.